Okay, let's talk about calculus, and this is going to be like a micro lesson, a little mini lesson on what calculus is. Now, we have some calculus right here, and of course, if you've never taken calculus, this looks very mysterious. It looks so advanced. It's like, oh, you got to be like Albert Einstein, some math genius to be able to handle this. Well, that's not the case at all. Actually, anyone can understand this stuff. Now, when you actually take calculus, let's say at the college level, well, it's a pretty serious math course indeed. And you have to be ready for, uh, you know, uh, prepared from a mathematical standpoint to really handle a full, complete uh, calculus course. However, uh, we could get a basic sense of what calculus is about. I'm going to try to do this in five, six, seven minutes here, and I'm going to get into a little, my little micro lesson. So even if you uh, haven't even taken algebra, well, maybe uh, if you kind of remember a little bit of math from school, you'll be able to understand the essence of what calculus is here once we get done with this video. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you uh, need help in mathematics, okay, if you struggle in math or if you want to get ahead in math, if you don't feel like you're getting the right... Um, amount of support or enough instruction in your current math course, well, you're not alone, okay? It's not necessarily, it doesn't mean that you have a bad teacher. Well, you could have a bad teacher, unfortunately, but you just might need more instructional time. Well, I could help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, my program can help you out tremendously. Now, if you're taking any test or if you plan on taking any test that has math on it, so things like the GED, high set task, uh, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, I can go on and on. I could help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you definitely got to check out my math program. I got a great homeschool uh, curriculum and total program that uh, it's a must see for any homeschooler out there. And if you study mathematics and you don't have any math notes, you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this little micro lesson about calculus. So I'm just curious, what do you think you know about calculus? Uh, go ahead and put your answers in the comments section. And um, are you interested in taking calculus one day? Put, it, put that into the comments section as well. Or if you're like, no, I'm not a math person. I'm going to stay far away from calculus, but I've always been interested in calculus. Well, put that in the comments section as well. But uh, again, this little micro lesson is going to be for those of you that just want a simple, basic essence of what this math is all about. All right, so uh, let's go down here and let's talk about area. Now, hopefully, uh, you remember these little formulas here. This goes back to like the sixth grade, seventh grade. And if you don't remember that far back, I can assure you, uh, you study this stuff. But here we have a rectangle. And if I want to know the area of this rectangle, we would use this formula. I don't know if you remember this or not, but uh, we would have a formula for the area of a rectangle. So, oh, I see a rectangle. So if I just multiply the length times the width, whatever this distance is here, by this distance, I would get the area. So oh, pretty cool. So anytime I encounter a rectangle, I can find the area. Now, uh, let's say I want to find the area of a circle. I can use this formula. Area of a circle is pi r squared, that pi is around, it's approximately 3.14. Uh, that's a fancy symbol, but that's a whole other discussion about uh, pi and what it is. And then r is the radius. It's this little point from the center. So that's, it's halfway through, it's half of the width of the circle is the radius. So if I know this value, I square it. In other words, I multiply it by itself, and then I multiply that by 3.14, and I would get approximately the area of that circle. All right, how about a triangle? Well, we can find the area of this triangle by one half the base, and then right here would be the height of the triangle. So hopefully you remember back in school that when we have these uh, figures, whether it's a rectangle, a circle, a triangle, there's other uh, figures, uh, parallelograms and trapezoids and all kinds of these basic figures. We have these formulas that come in super handy to find the area of these particular uh, basic figures. Well, that's all well and good, but how about uh, a figure like this? Let's go down here, and if you're not familiar with this little graph, I'm going to explain this to you. So let's take a look at this yellow shaded area, okay? It's uh, right in here between 2 and 6, and I'm going to kind of try to sketch it out. It kind of looks like this, okay? 
So it looks like a rectangle, but up on top, you can see it's kind of curving. So let's say I wanted to find the area of this crazy shape right here. All right, you would be saying, all right, no problem. I just need the formula for this crazy shape. Well, unfortunately, there is no formula. There's no formula. Like, oh, what are you talking about? There's no formula. I've had a formula for a rectangle, a circle, a triangle. Well, nope, there is no formula for the area of this crazy shape. Okay, so how do we find the area? Well, this is where calculus comes in, and this is where a little micro lesson is all about. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about how calculus helps us find the area of all sorts of crazy shapes where there is no formula. That's one of the main jobs of calculus. All right, so let's take a look at this thing right here. This is called a function. This is all this is. I'm going to give you like a real basic sense of it. This is just a way. This describes the curve, okay? So we have this little curve right here. It's called a parabola, but this little graph. Okay, so a description, a mathematical description of that curve is this, is a function, all right? So for this particular curve, it could be like 3x squared, okay? So that just describes this graph right here. Now, uh, we have this thing called the x-axis and the y-axis. So right here would be like 1, and then this would be 2. Then we have 3, 4, 5. Uh, you can see my scale is kind of messed up, but let's just say this is between 2 and 6. Okay, And the scale just continues out like so, and it goes this way as well, and this way as well. So what we're trying to do here is find the area okay, of this crazy uh, shape that's underneath this curve. It's under this curve right here, this 3x squared. And we're kind of starting it from 2, and it ends at 6, and it's underneath this curve. And it's also bounded, its bottom is this x-axis. So this is the, what we want to find the area for. Well, we have this uh, thing in calculus uh, called the integral. Okay, it looks like this. And this basically means find the area. Okay, find the area of anything you want. And the way it works is the following. Okay, we're going to put our starting point. Okay, we want to start from 2. Okay, and then we want to end at 6. So we're going to start from 2 and end at 6. And then we need to put our curve right here. What is our curve? Our curve is 3x squared dx. Okay, that's a little, just a little uh, technical thing that we have to put in in algebra. I'm sorry, in uh, calculus. But this is it. Okay. Right here, if I wanted to find the area of this thing, I would write this little crazy thing called an integral. That means integrate all these little tiny strips that would make up this total area of this thing. Integrate it, start from 2, and end at 6, and go underneath this curve described by 3x squared. So this is the setup to find the area of that shape. Okay, Now, the actual mechanics here are a little bit more involved, uh, but in anyone with a basic middle school, uh, you know, basic algebra, you know, maybe even middle school, or even like pre-algebra, I could show you how to do this. Matter of fact, I've done a couple, uh, two, three different videos on basic calculus. You'll see those on my playlist on my YouTube channel that I kind of go into how to find the actual area, but it's not that many more steps uh, to actually calculate out and get the actual value for the area of this strip. But uh, what I want you to do, or the whole point of this video is to understand the language of calculus, okay, and what it's used for, okay? So, hey, uh, calculus determines, okay, helps us find the area of all sorts of crazy uh, shapes uh, where there is no formula around. And here you just can see, hey, look, you know, when we write this little squiggly thing right here, next time you, you know, are watching a movie and there's some sort of mathematical scribble-ish, calculus is all over the place. It's pretty famous um, uh, math, but you'll see it, you know, like on these, you know, uh, CSI type of shows or, uh, you know, anytime they want to show in physics or science, you'll see a little bit of calculus. The next time, look out for that symbol like that. You'll be like, oh, I know what that means. You know, you at least you'll have the basic essence of it. And that's why I wanted to just kind of, you know, leave this video right here as it is. We don't need to take it any further. Uh, I just wanted to get you a little bit more of an understanding and appreciation of what calculus is. 
All right, so if you uh, felt like this video was interesting uh, or helpful in some way, like, hey, you know what, that makes sense. Well, go ahead and smash that like button. That definitely makes sense to me. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos. If you want to know more about calculus, I have quite a few more basic calculus videos uh, really designed uh, for people that just are curious about the subject. So I actually take it a step further and I go a little bit more in depth on calculus, but nothing that uh, is beyond anyone's level of understanding. And of course, if you need math help, you definitely got to check out my math help program because that's where my best math help is at. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.